Welcome to Math TV with Professor V. I have a new integral of the day for everybody. It's an indefinite integral of cube root of x plus 1 over cube root of x minus 1 dx. So if you want to pause the video, try it on your own. Otherwise, I'm just jumping straight in. To be honest, the first thing I thought of was, oh, let's try multiplying by the conjugate, but that won't work because we're dealing with cube roots and not square roots. So instead, went for a u sub. So let's go ahead and let u equal the cube root of x. And it would be really nasty to try to get du directly. So instead, let's cube both sides. So then we have u cubed is equal to x. And then now I'm going to take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. So on the left side, we'll have 3u squared du. And then that just equals 1 dx. All right, so we're actually ready to go ahead and make our change of variables and rewrite the integral in terms of u. So in the numerator, instead of cube root of x plus 1, I'm just going to have u plus 1. Denominator is going to become u minus 1. And then dx, dx is all of this, 3u squared du. Okay. So let's see, did things just get better or worse? <laughs> They're fine. Um, for sure, for sure, I want to take this constant outside the integral so I can focus on what's going on here. And then I have u squared, that's in the numerator, times u plus 1 over, I still just have u minus 1 downstairs, du. And I'm noticing, okay, I'm, I now have a rational function. I'm going to try to integrate. And the degree of the numerator is higher than the degree of the denominator, right? If I distribute everything up top, I'm going to have u cubed plus u squared over u minus 1 du. So anytime the rational function that you're trying to integrate is not bottom heavy, bottom heavy meaning degree of the denominator is higher, right, than the degree of the top. If that's not the case, you need to long divide. So let's do that. So, you know, it takes some steps, but it's doable in this lifetime. So we've got u minus 1, and then we're dividing that into u cubed plus u squared. I don't know, whoever taught you long division, if you want to put placeholders or not, it's up to you. So when you're dividing, you just look at the leading terms. What do you have to multiply u by to make it u cubed? That's u squared. And then you distribute the u squared to the divisor. So u squared times u is u cubed. And then I have minus u squared. And then I end up subtracting this from the row up above. So the term on the furthest left should cancel. And then here I have u squared minus negative u squared, so it's plus another u squared. So that's 2u squared plus 0u. And then we just repeat the process. So now I'm going to look, what do I multiply u by to make it 2u squared? That's just going to be a 2u positive. And then again, that 2u distributes to the divisor. So it'll be 2u squared minus 2u. And then I subtract this from the row above. That cancels. And then now I have positive 2u. Bring this down plus 0. Keep it going. <laughs> what do you multiply u by to make it 2u? Just 2, right? Positive. Positive 2. Almost there. So then this distributes to the divisor. 2 times u minus 1 is 2u minus 2. Subtract that from the row above. That cancels, and I'm left with 2. Now that's my remainder, because I can't multiply u by anything to get it to be 2. Also, degree of the divisor is higher than the term here, so then I know it's my remainder. So how do we write out our remainder? Well, you would say you have plus 2 over u minus 1 plus the remainder over the divisor. Just like when you were dividing rational numbers when you were a wee thing in elementary school. Okay, so let's substitute that all in now. So we have 3 times 
u squared plus 2u plus 2 plus 2 over u minus 1. And then all of that is our new integrand. So I think we're ready. We can just go term by term, right? Keep the 3 out there. Antiderivative of u squared is going to be 1 third u cubed. Antiderivative of 2u, I'll have u squared divided by 2 and that'll cancel with the 2, so just plus u squared. Antiderivative of 2, just plus 2u. And then this one is going to involve natural log, right? You probably don't need a u sub, you can just keep that 2. ln, don't forget absolute value u minus 1. Close the brackets because remember this 3 is going to get distributed through to everybody plus c. Okay, let's distribute through now. So multiplying everybody by 3, I just have u cubed plus 3u squared plus 6u plus 6ln absolute value u minus 1 plus c. And then remember earlier, u we substituted for cube root of x. So let's go back. So cube root of x cubed is just going to be x, right? Plus 3. Now you could write cube root of x squared, but that's not so pretty. So I'm just going to write it as x to the 2 thirds. Okay. Plus, and then 6u you could write cube root of x, or I'm just going to leave it 6x to the 1 third plus 6, because I switched to rational exponents in the other term. ln absolute value instead of u, x to the 1 third minus 1 plus c. And that is it. How did you like that one? There wasn't anything crazy. It just looked gross. Um, the way the book gave the final answer, they left this term, and this term is cube root of x. But they wrote, this is x to the 2 thirds. And I feel like, just make up your mind. Either you're using radicals or you're using rational exponents. Be consistent, you know. So I would leave it like this. But just always check with your teacher, you know, how they want their final answer. So I hope you enjoyed that integral of the day. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And you can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok, Math TV with Professor V. I have a video on eigenvalues coming out in the next couple days for members of my YouTube channel. So look for that. It'll be on the Linear Algebra Video Lectures playlist. Hope everyone's doing great. I'll be back soon. Bye.